gentlemen and others in the audience, we are about to kick off a 15-minute chess game against one of our good friends, Adrian Marley. Adrian is a very strong USCF-rated chess player, and uh, we should have a pretty fun game here. So we start with the English opening with c4. Adrian responds with c5. I will play knight to c3. Uh, this opening was very famous among... Uh, some players in the past, locally, George Woodbury is who I learned this opening from. I hate this e6 move. Freaking hate it. So e6, he's planning to play d5 and just completely take over the center here. Um, I may just... Uh... Yes, it is in English. Symmetrical language. Sort of. Not really anymore. <laughs> it was a symmetrical. Symmetric as, sh as shit. Now it's like getting complex. So after bishop g2, I'm taking over this long diagonal. Take over his diagonals. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. My goals are obviously to play knight f3, castle d3, rook b1, a3, b4, and that is the overall goal. Ooh, if he doesn't play this d5 right away, I'm going to go ahead and take over. It's d5 square now. Uh, d6, that's good. I am okay with this. Trying, turning into a very strange sort of English now. Mm. Let's be aggressive. Aggressive is our first name. We want to be aggressive as hell. Now I just feel like our pawn structure sucks. Will the pawn structure be high quality or what? Can you give me a haputi daputi screensaver? Yeah, can I make one order? All right, guys. So basically what's happening here is that I've got a pawn structure that looks really ugly. But if you think about it in the end game, I have two pawn chains here. One on the right, one on the left. And in the long run, I think this should be okay for me. Uh, my goals here are to play maybe b3, bishop b2, rook c1, queen c2, queen b1, queen a1, something like that. I don't know. I may even try to play f4 here to try to take over the king side as well. And uh, really make his looks, bishops look very weak. That's my goal. A bishop on g2 is pretty powerful, so going to hold on to that guy and try to try to attack on the queen side. Oh, it's my turn? What the heck? Oh, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh, let's do... Bishop B3 knight here. Bishop. Let's put the bishop here. My rating? Yeah, better than me. My rating right now is like an 18, 20, 30, 40, or 50. I don't know, dude. There's no way I play that good, though, anymore, as you can clearly see. My my rate, my USCF rating, if I played right now, would basically be 1564. <laughs> Probably lower than that. Nice garbage. <laughs> What's your rating, dude? It's pretty solid. Yeah. Better than me right now. I don't really have a solid uh, 
USCF rating because mm. I haven't played in very many tournaments at all recently. Gotcha. I played one with me. Yeah, that's the only one I've played in like eight years. <laughs> it's been a while for you then too, huh? Yeah, I played a lot of scholastic tournaments back mm-hmm. in like high school and middle school, but after that, I just haven't played any. Yeah, it's it's hard to find time to play, honestly, after after high school. Yeah. I stuck with it for a few more years because I was coaching and that kind of stuff, but after a while, man, it just becomes too much. No money, no girls, no exercise. Hard to justify. Don't need it. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> I am grandmaster. I don't need girl. I don't need. I do not need anything. I am twenty one fifty. Dude, if that was the case, man, you'd be seeing me playing this freaking chess all day long, dude, day and night. Day and night. Day and night. I'm really tempted to play this ridiculously strong ass move. Let's do it. Strong. Oh, Day and night. <laughs> you know that song? Yeah. Oh my god. Strong as shit. Stronger than fuck. My pawn on F5 is probably just going to be gone. It looked good for a second, though. Hmm. This is becoming too complex for my my tastes. Ah, schmuck. Trying to hold on to my pawns with whatever forces and ability that I have. And really trying to dominate these light squares at this point. That is me, my only goal. And make d6 look like a mistake child. So if you guys are just tuning in, we've got a chess live sessions going on here. I'm not sure why I'm talking about tuning in. This is a freaking YouTube video. It's not live. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Oh, this is getting ridiculous, ridiculously annoying. Hmm. Okay, if g4 knight, if g5 knight, g4, attacking the bishop, cannot allow that. Cannot, will not allow such nonsense. Take, take, rook h4. Flip bishop f3 in that line. Uh, I even have g4. Five in that sort of sense, but then again, knight f g four is no, not possible. What am I saying? It's looking crazy, man. The king is still in the center. Looking crazy. Okay, knight yeah. d five. What happens after knight d five? What happens after takes on f four? Oh shit! Can't take my crazy, man. Damn, dude, this is getting intense as shit. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore now. Blasting the whole world wide open. Bus a wide open, bus a wide. Oh. Round and round she go, she go. 
to here. Hmm. Position is interesting. If 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 takes on g six, I have f takes e. Oh, didn't expect that actually. Check. Check there first. Do I have anything here even? Not really. Not really anything at all. Time to pry open this blasted king now with some solid, solid moves. Oof, king is trying to hide. Interesting. I didn't think you were trying to hide in this position. I thought you would try to attack me. I'm confused. Uh, I don't even know what to do. I didn't even expect that move at all. It's too risky, man. It's King G6 even. And I have another check. Oh, no, I don't have any checks because the bishop is gone. Shit. <laughs> I know. Schmuck is all I can say about this position. If I play a more subtle move, then what? Like, um, Yeah, I figured. Peace play is going to determine a lot of shit in this game. Uh, let's see here. Being aggressive, aggressive as hell. Did not expect this move. I was trying really hard to try to activate my queen or my rooks with one threat, but there was no threats. <laughs> there were literally no threats I could make. I tried so hard to find a freaking threat I can create. There was nothing, man. What are threats?
Oh. You just freaking took it, man? Shit. Just freaking took it. Okay. Take it back. Like an animal. But now I can expose this king, I think. I think. Now thoughts can be deceiving sometimes. I feel like I'm onto something here. Hmm, what happens next? What happens next? What happens next? I dare you to move. Dare you to move. Son, I dare you to move. Dare you to so basically what's going on here is bishop takes g5 if that happens then i have uh, potentially i have moves like oh he did play it interesting interesting concepts <clears throat> Check. I'm gonna. Oh god, he has checkmate in one after that crap. No, this has got to be. It's getting too complex. King to G. We can bring in the knight though. Trying so hard to make this work. Trying to make me go to rehab. Ah, uh, let's play this. Much ado about nothing. My goal is to slowly introduce the rest of my forces into this battle, this king hunt. I've been telling them no. Oh, such a defensive move. Check. On E3. Now is the perfect time to play this. <laughs> oh man, that looks like that just solidifies everything. What if I pile up on that guy though? Server announcement. He has created his own threat as well on h2 wow so annoying I always find those that do two or three things at once <laughs> those are the best shit man i think i was being too slow with this rook move honestly Oh, 
Uh, this is a move I don't want to play, but I have to play. That was a strong ass move, bro. That just completely turned the tables all of a sudden. I thought I was attacking. Now I'm defending. Schmuck. This is horribly bad now. Man, that was good. That was a solid move. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that lucky. Queen takes c5 check and I'm toasted. Check. I was toasted. the luckiest game of the century of chess. Oh, Jesus. Still attacking me, bro? Check. Check. Check, Check to your king again. Check. Check to your king. Come on, don't tell me I don't know how to mate. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> Check to your king. Check. Watch me like drop my queen. Happens before. Check mate. Okay, I was <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared that I would just put the queen somewhere and knight can just take it. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. One solid victory, as Adrian predicted earlier in the game, that we were going to win no matter what. Let's quickly analyze the game. Uh, we went here, here. Everything is, looks good. I think uh, here I don't know what's going on. Let's see what the Grandmaster says. White's a little bit better. Not anymore. <laughs> so we stayed more or less, uh, more or less okay here. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where do I listen to? I don't know, man. 158. Right. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Uh, Boom. Uh, Boom. Uh, Boom. Boom. It's getting crazy yeah. now. Why it's getting a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, after this move, apparently I just went from like a good advantage to nothing. I should have played G5, apparently. But what happens after knight G4? Bishop D2. Oh, I just move it back and your knight looks silly. Wait a second. Can't she just take on F5? What am I doing? Oh, wait, there's a discovered. The rook, no wonder. Man, I missed this easy move, G5. I can get away with it, tactically. I was trying to make it really hard to make that work, but it wasn't, like, I couldn't see this. The queen couldn't take it because of the discovered stuff. After this, I'm better again. G5. Knight H5. F takes E5 is the best move, apparently. Wow. Really? Interesting.
He doesn't like my move. F takes G6. I guess I'm still winning, but not by as much. G takes F check. check. King F8 was the best move. After you took, apparently I have queen d5 check. But if queen e6, oh, devastating move, g6. You've been crushing, right? Yeah. Oh, well. What? Bishop takes c6. I had a winning freaking move here with bishop takes c6. I was trying so hard to make that work. What? Bishop takes b6. Uh, okay, bishop takes c6. B takes c6. Bishop e5 check. Interesting. I didn't even consider. Oh, dude. Bishop takes. Why not queen takes? What happens after queen takes? There's probably some mate with queen d5 there. Queen d4. Mm hmm There was a mate. A matematica. My move sucks. I thought I was being brilliant with c5, but it's like it literally took away all of my advantage. I had a win here with bishop takes knight. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is like watching an elementary school basketball game. So many freaking turnovers. Shit. <clears throat> now we're even after you took that one. <clears throat> I thought I was winning here. Now I'm winning again after rook g4. Apparently I was supposed to play knight e4 here. Oh, just piling up on the freaking bishop, right? But I played this stupid one instead. The reason I didn't play knight e5, I have no clue why I would play this move instead of the knight e4 move. It makes no sense. Both of them stop knight, queen e3 check. Can you imagine this, dude? Like, what the hell? <laughs> so stupid. We're bad. Now you're winning. We're bad. <laughs> Play here. Now I'm totally lost after queen c5 check. That's what I thought you were going to do. I couldn't believe that you didn't play that check. Oh, crushed after that. Check, check. And that's really it at that point. Thanks for watching, guys. That's really what happened in this game. Uh, obviously, a lot of inaccuracies here. Sam, Sham Sam Shanklin would be very not proud of us right now. He was watching this game with a 26, 27, 2800 rating in his head. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave your comments below in the in the comment section. Go ahead and uh, check out my other articles as well. In the links below, I'm going to share some my website where I share some more chess articles and things like that. This is Rafi Chadri and Adrian Marley signing out from, from ICC.